our Town Talk segment tonight brings us a new person, the Assistant Town Manager, Marlene McCollum of Plymouth. Welcome. Thank you. You've been at the job about four months. That's right. Okay. And can we find a little bit about your background, where you're originally from? Sure. So I grew up in Indiana. Okay. I got my undergraduate degree there from Ball State University mm -hmm. with, a mass, uh, with a bachelor's in urban planning and okay. political science. Very good. And then I moved out here to Massachusetts in 2001, mm -hmm. and I've been working um, in a number of municipalities since then. And I've also gotten my master's degree in public administration from Bridgewater State while I've while I've been here. Excellent, yeah. excellent. And while you were working, you did some um, you did p town planning in yes. Carver. Yes. Yes, I was a planning director in Car for the town of Carver. I was a planner for the town of Falmouth, mm -hmm. and I was a regional planning planner for MAPC, which is a state organization for, for the 101 cities and towns around Boston. Wow, so that was a huge, huge reach in, yes. that, in that place. Yes. And now you're in Plymouth. And now I'm in Plymouth. Okay, which is a, a, a tremendous community unto itself. It is. And very different. Yes. Yes. Let's, so let's talk about what your, your, your biggest um, projects that you're going to involve yourself with, starting with the RKG Economic Plan. Could you explain what that is and what, what it's going to do? So the town has commissioned RKG, they're a private consulting firm, to mm -hmm. do um, an economic development update mm -hmm. for the town. Um, they did a prior study about a decade ago. Mm -hmm. So we're, uh, we're that's primarily being managed out of the planning office okay. and the, with the Economic Development Foundation, but I'll be involved with the Board of Selectmen and them to um, review the recommendations and move, move the plan forward into implementation. What are some of the biggest parts of an economic plan for people that don't know what that means? So a lot of it has to do with your labor force mm -hmm. and matching your the skills of your labor force with the jobs that are available and in, the, that, in the area in the area okay. and okay. that we want to grow and develop in town okay so that will that will include um, things like tourism yes okay and hospitals yes health care because we're bigger maybe colleges and universities yes okay so we're looking at the major industries gotcha the village center master plan could you explain what that is so that is actually something that's being done again out of the planning office primarily mm -hmm. um, and I just want to let everybody know there will be an open house on Thursday this Thursday, this the Thursday, 18th. yes, okay, from four to seven p.m. Okay, um, at Memorial Hall. Yep. So if anyone wants to come and talk about what they want the downtown, the waterfront, the beach area to look like, mm -hmm. um, there will be a whole group of us there. Mm -hmm. Listening to the comments, taking the feedback, and then the planning office will go back and develop a master plan for the center of town. Okay, so you're going to take all kinds of input mm -hmm. yes, absolutely. about the center of town. Okay, the drinking water permits and well expansion. So, um, one of the major pieces of economic development and physical growth is making sure we have drinking water. Sure. Um, for, for people and also fire protection. Right. So all of our, if our buildings have a sprinkler system in there, mm -hmm. we, have a, we have to promise them a certain amount of water and we have to promise them a certain amount of water to fight fires out from our hydrants. Too. Right. Yes, exactly. absolutely. Yep. Yep. And um, the town is currently going through um, a re-permitting for mm -hmm. It's, it's, it's withdrawal permit with the state's DEP, mm -hmm. and we should be getting a draft permit essentially any day now. For just for Plymouth? For Plymouth, okay. telling us how much water we can withdraw every day. And we are expecting that to be reduced by the state by a little bit over a million gallons a day. Okay, so, so how does that affect <laughs> us? What does that so, mean? We're going to have to do some work with um, better managing our water supply, yep. making sure you know our mains are not leaking, making yep. sure that we're accounting for all of our water, making sure that we've got um, as most the most efficient right. system. conservation yes. methods, and Absolutely. that's that's on the municipality level as well as individual homes. Yes, clearly. Yes. Okay. So conservation and efficiency, and then we also are in the process of talking about um, permitting a couple of new wells possibly. Okay. Because even with the cap, the permit cap coming down, we still have um, a deficit in the amount of water we can supply mm -hmm. on a on a high drought, high stress condition mm -hmm. day. Right. If we have a well out of service, so we okay. need we need we need to be permitting some uh, additional water wells. So that's not individual person getting a well no, on their property. No. That's the town getting the huge wells. Yes. Yeah, so these are public water supplies okay. of a million plus gallons okay. a day. Okay just to clear that up. Okay, building projects. 
uh, a new fire station in North Plymouth. Yes. Tell us about that. So um, the, the current Station 7 on Spooner Street has been in operation for like 111 years yep, now. Yeah, long time. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And they're about ready for a new house. Yeah. So a property has been purchased on Hedge Road. Mm -hmm. We have hired an architect. Right. We're getting you know, going on the design of that. Yep. We hope to have construction starting there, I would say, um, early spring. Mm -hmm. Of um, 2018. Yep. yep. And then finishing up, finishing up construction at the end of the year. Great. So yeah. possibly by January of next year, it'll be ready to be opened. Yes. Hopefully. Yes. Okay. We always have to give a little bit of leeway. We know that on building projects. A new airport administration building. So the, the airport is um, under design. They're underway for a new administration building right next to their current building. Their current building would be taken down. Okay. And um, that, that will probably go out to construction maybe in June. Of this year okay and it'll take about 12 months to complete and I'm looking I'm very much looking forward to working with the airport commission and getting to know them right. and all of the people right. at the airport now some people think that the airport is a privately held or it's not nope. it's, it's nope. it belongs to the town of Plymouth yeah okay Plymouth is very unique and um, it's a great asset to have a municipal airport sure there, there are not a lot of them no so where it's a very unique function of of the government that we run an airport yeah great we've got everything in this town yeah. don't we <laughs> everything okay now April town meeting what are what are some of the um, the big items that are going to come up at April town meeting so this will be the first um, annual town meeting that I'll have gone through with the town so I'm learning a lot with the budgeting process yep. with the capital budget um, and I'm you know meeting a, a whole bunch of people um, there are a couple of um, there's going to be a couple of interesting projects having to do with the well with the fire station yep. um, so we're looking forward you know to those discussions at town meeting yep. and there's um, a lot of um, easements and land purchases and CPA articles that yep. we're looking forward to having debated sure and I'm getting a, a great opportunity to work with the town clerk's office and yep. getting ready for town meeting. Yeah, it's always a, um, it's a very unique thing. Uh, the Plymouth town meetings are just, they're, they're very interesting to watch. There's yes. a lot of content in them, yes. a lot of debate, which is nice. It's, mm -hmm. you know, the American way and uh, we are in America's hometown. So what was your biggest surprise about coming to Plymouth? So, um, I have I have been a resident here. I've lived here for about a dozen years. Okay. So I'm pretty familiar with how things work from you know the receiving end yep. of receiving services yep. but I've just been really fascinated and really you know hap really happy about the great people I work with yeah. I've just I've been very pleasantly surprised yep. with some of the you know I'm really honored to yeah. to meet some of these people Plymouth has some stunning people yeah they were, it really does that's why I think this is such a fabulous town yes well we will have you back again it okay. was wonderful to have you thank, thank you thank you all right